Hey Taurus, this is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, oh shoot, any obstacles in your way and the outcome of that situation. Pay attention to your dreams right now. They have a lot to tell you. This is like somebody who wants to go towards something, but is really hesitant. Um, there's, there's a little bit of hesitancy or fear. So a lot is being kept in. All right, Taurus. So, um... Remember, the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with, somebody around you. So flip it how you need to. Also remember, it's a general reading. So just take what's yours. Leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. This looks like a whole lot of something that somebody wants. They realize they want. But there's like something that it's not just that easy to go towards it. I don't know if that's within self or a person. Yeah, we got the five and the six of cups. Something here like on an emotional level. Like there's some guilt. There's some regret around it. Somebody wants to make the situation right. They want to talk, but guards are up. Even if that's like just energetically, there's some hesitancy around it. All right, media future for Taurus, please. Hope you guys are doing amazing. Oh, shit. You got the devil and the ace of cups. You could just be dealing with the Capricorn. But for some, um, give me one more for the outcome, please. This is like an X or something. The Knight of Wands. So kind of be mindful because I see this Ten of Swords at the bottom. So it kind of feels like something already ended, a chapter already closed. And it's trying to, it's like a game plan energy is how it feels. You have the Devil and we're ending with the Knight of Wands. So uh, Capricorn and Fire energy. But sometimes this can be like something that's, whether it's it's a behavior pattern or even a person, somebody's kind of like non-committal in and out. Feelings are here in the middle of it all with the Ace of Cups. But this might be an X or kind of like a pattern that's on repeat. What is that double for Taurus, please? Show me the devil for Taurus, the Empress, and the Temperance card. You already let this go. Uh, this is your energy could be dealing with a Libra Sagittarius there as well. There was something that was like holding you back, wasn't serving your highest good, your highest purpose, whether that's like drugs, alcohol, a relationship, a way of thinking, whatever it is, you healed. You're letting go of that. It's kind of like with the temperance there, it's it's a healing, it's a going with the flow, it's it's kind of like releasing that negativity there. And that's what you're doing. And this is going to come right back up and test you. Yeah, see, so you walked away from this. You got fed up with something. Uh, no longer like taking action towards it. And it has to do with these feelings. Because there were there are feelings involved. But it looks like somebody is still holding on to that Aquarius energy. Show me this Ace of Cups. So you already healed. You're letting go. You're kind of in a good place over there. Show me this Ace of Cups, please, for Taurus. The Hierophant, your energy in the Knight of Pentacles. So you're moving forward, kind of just taking it day by day, one step at a time. It does look like there's a, a realization that happened here with the Hangman and the Ace of Pentacles. Um, tell me more about that Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. Woo! All right, that's what's up. You got a solid offer that's coming, and this is taking a while. It's like as soon as you let go of something that was like not or something or someone it wasn't serving your highest purpose your highest good so you let go of that now there's an opportunity coming with the knight of pentacles and the ace of pentacles that's presenting itself as solid with the knight of pentacles could be your energy could be dealing with another earth sign or even a taurus but um the knight of pentacles kind of just like i said taking it day by day slowest mo moving night of the deck but with that comes an opportunity so you have an opportunity that's coming that it's taken a while because something here may have been kind of blocking your blessings. You are very well protected right now, my friend. So show me that Knight of Wands for the outcome. For Taurus, please. Thank you. The Two of Cups. The feelings are here and the Three of Cups. They're mutual. 
for some there's a reconciliation for others you're just kind of you're celebrating something here but with the why is the knight of wands there the ace of swords you have some type of communication here something that's about to progress that's been moving really slow but it's about to progress in a very quick way and it's it comes after kind of like this finding this peace this healing kind of letting go of something over here you do have choices yeah the queen of wands that's your energy could be dealing with the fire sign the queen of wands is your energy and you're coming in as like very attractive very beautiful um for some there's a phone call or hold on i dropped a card or like a real conversation that's coming but with the four of pentacles this is the card that i dropped don't hold on to what's no longer serving you because it looks like you've healed from something so either you're holding on to it or it's still holding on to you but you do have new love, new opportunities, solid opportunities that are coming. And it kind of feels like it goes from with this Knight of Pentacles and then this Knight of Wands. Like something's been like tiptoeing, tiptoeing, tiptoeing. Now it's about to pew, take off pretty quick. It, there, I mean, it's a good outcome. The whole reading is fan freaking tastic, especially that. But with the Two of Cups and the Three of Cups, I mean, there's a lot of love here. It's shared mutually. There could be celebrations or reconciliations. There's a lot that's realized and things kind of start moving forward. With the Queen of Wands and the Two of Wands, you do have options. So let's see. Tell me about this opportunity that's coming for Taurus. This Ace of Pentacles. For some? Oh, okay. Yeah, with the Six of Pentacles here, um, make sure you're kind of, it's it's all about equal give and take, not being taken for granted, you know, kind of getting back what you're putting into something. Because with this devil energy over here, that didn't happen. It's it's almost like one energy or one person like called the shots, not, not literally like how to be controlling and stuff, but it was controlling the situation. So when one side of things was more like focused on the left, another side out, it, it knock things off this balance so it's trying to balance out but um what is your advice for taurus hey, you got the ten of cups and the knight of cups follow your heart lead with your heart it could be a younger water sign doesn't have to be but this is going all emotional now and it's because you let go of something over here Let's see, the hangman, Pisces energy. Again, it looks like like somebody there was there was pain. Um, but and a lot was kept in. Somebody even could have done something like intentionally to hurt feelings, or you know, some things may have been said, but you're pulling past that now, and now somebody wants to talk and they're all nervous. There's some type of unexpected communication here, but there is um change that's trying to be made. For some, could be moving, could be traveling. Doesn't have to go that deep. But I think there's a big emphasis on, um, especially when I ask for advice, you get the Knight of Cups and the Ten of Cups. I mean, that's that's kind of like leading with your heart, doing all things through love in a loving, caring, compassionate way. Because you're ending with all this, this mutual love, this celebrations, this reconciliations. Just make sure you're kind of getting back what you're putting into things. All right, Taurus, I hope this helps. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information's below as well. You guys take care, and I will see you next time. Bye.